Hi there, health enthusiasts. Today, we're uncovering the shocking truth behind some of your favorite foods. From fake maple syrup to counterfeit truffle oil, you won't believe what's hiding in your pantry. Before we dive in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and share this video with your friends. Let's get started. Did you know that it takes over 40 gallons of sap to make just one jug of real maple syrup? That's why one of these bottles can cost $10 and grocery stores are flooded with imitation syrups that don't have any maple sap at all. But did you know that tons of expensive foods we love eating might not be the real thing? We're talking about wasabi, vanilla, and even truffle oil. The main reason why this happens, it's all about money. Some of this is legal, as long as products that aren't the real deal disclose it on the packaging, even if it's a bit sneaky. But often, it's illegal, with entire criminal rings behind these counterfeit foods. Globally, the fraudulent food industry could be worth $40 billion. At the least, you're getting ripped off. At the worst, you're literally getting poisoned. So how did fake food take over our grocery stores, restaurants, and kitchens? And how do counterfeiters get away with it? We travel around the world to learn how to spot the real stuff. Stick around because you won't want to miss this. A first up, truffles. Hate to break it to you, but your $15 truffle fries don't have any truffle on them. What is called truffle oil is entirely made in a laboratory. It has nothing to do with mushrooms. Real truffles are pricey and rare. They need specific conditions to grow, usually in places like Italy, France, or the UK. About 80% of the black truffles we consume are now cultivated, but it can still take as long as six years to grow them. Most attempts to farm the most expensive white truffles have failed, making them especially pricey and often counterfeited. But how can you tell if you're getting the real deal or just overpriced truffle oil? Fun fact, did you know that truffles have been considered a delicacy since ancient times often referred to as the diamonds of the kitchen? Truffle oil is usually just olive or sunflower oil with a synthetic compound derived from petroleum called 2,4-dithiopentane. 2,4-dithiopentane is the dimethyl dithioacetyl of formaldehyde. It is industrially prepared by the acid-catalyzed condensation of methyl mercaptan with formaldehyde. Health risk alert. Consuming synthetic truffle oil means you're ingesting artificial chemicals that may cause digestive issues for some people. Here's a tip. You can tell it's artificial when you see words like truffle flavoring or aroma on a package. The most foolproof way to ensure authenticity is to see it shaved right in front of you. Maple syrup is another tricky case. One food fraud lawyer estimated as much as half of what's labeled 100% maple syrup might be fake. But how can something so pure and natural be counterfeited? Fun fact, did you know it takes about 40 years for a sugar maple tree to grow large enough to tap for syrup? Real maple syrup is tapped from trees, with Canada producing 85% of the world's supply. Real maple syrup can cost about six times more than pancake syrup. The imitation kind is often a mix of corn syrup, high fructose corn syrup, caramel color, and added flavorings. Health risk alert. High fructose corn syrup has been linked to obesity, diabetes, and other health issues. It's not illegal, but you can tell it's not real maple when you see words like pancake syrup or table syrup on the label. Real maple syrup will say 100% or pure and have just maple syrup on the ingredients list. Wasabi is probably the most widely faked food on our list. It's estimated only 1% of American wasabi and 5% of Japanese wasabi is real. Most of it is actually a mixture of horseradish, a sweetener, and a food starch. But why is real wasabi so hard to come by? Fun fact. True wasabi is known as the king of condiments in Japan and has natural antibacterial properties. Real wasabi is surprisingly rare and considered the hardest plant to farm commercially. It grows naturally along Japanese mountain springs. The wasabi company in the UK has recreated the conditions of Japan but it still takes 18 months before the plant is ready for harvesting. Real wasabi should be chunkier and have a gritty texture, whereas horseradish-based wasabi will be smooth. The real stuff actually doesn't have as spicy of a kick. Health risk alert. Fake wasabi can contain artificial colorings and preservatives that may cause allergic reactions. Is your wasabi real? Stick around to find out. Another victim to confusing labeling? Parmesan cheese. There are only about 300 dairies in the entire world that are certified to produce authentic Parmigiano-Reggiano. But what's really hiding in that shaker of grated cheese? Fun fact. 
Authentic Parmigiano Reggiano cheese must be aged for at least 12 months and can be aged for over 36 months. In the US, you can legally call something Parmesan without following the strict Italian rules for Parmigiano Reggiano. Grated cheese is even further from the real thing. Producers are allowed to mix in fillers like rice flour or cellulose. In 2016, Walmart's great value 100% Parmesan had nearly double the suggested limit of cellulose. Health risk alert. Excessive cellulose intake can lead to digestive issues. Real Parmesan cheese will have a part of the words Parmigiano Reggiano spelled out in dots and a protected designation of origin or DOP label. Authentic Parmigiano Reggiano will have crystals that pack a fruity and nutty flavor. Just like Parmesan, vanilla can have some confusing labeling. It's estimated just 1% of all vanilla products in the world are real. Most of the legit stuff comes from Madagascar. Fun fact, vanilla beans are the fruit of an orchid and are one of the most labor-intensive crops in the world. In the US, many brands sell imitation versions using lab-made vanillin derived from petroleum or compounds found in clove oil, wood and bark. This is legal as long as artificial flavoring is listed on the package. Health risk alert. Synthetic vanillin can cause headaches and allergic reactions in sensitive individuals. The real stuff will list vanilla bean extractives. We've uncovered some shocking truth so far, but there's still so much more to reveal. From fake caviar to counterfeit coffee, the truth behind these luxury items will leave you stunned. Make sure to subscribe and share this video so your friends can learn the truth too. Caviar, the most expensive fish eggs out there, can also mean big payouts for fraudsters. It's often counterfeited because it's so difficult to harvest. One kilogram of beluga caviar can sell for $24,000. But how do criminals pull off such an elaborate scam? Fun fact, the word caviar is derived from the Persian word caviar, which means egg bearing. Criminal counterfeiters often make fake caviar from the eggs of cheaper fish or label low-grade caviar as a fancier imported kind. Authentic caviar will harden in hot water as the proteins cook while fake caviar will dissolve. Real caviar will be uniformly sized and have a glossy shine to it. Health risk alert. Fake caviar can contain harmful additives and preservatives. Fake honey is even more widespread. A third of what's traded internationally is adulterated or completely fake. Real honey needs a perfect combination of nature and patience. But why is it so easy to fake? Fun fact. Honey is the only food that includes all the substances necessary to sustain life, including enzymes, vitamins, minerals, and water. Many experts say the fake honey often comes from China. Fraudsters market sugar syrups that will outsmart lab tests if added to honey. Avoid any label with the word blend and buy raw honey from a local producer at a nearby farmer's market. Health risk alert. Some fake honey contains antibiotics and other chemicals that can be harmful. Olive oil also tops our list of frequently faked foods. Authentic extra virgin olive oil has to be freshly squeezed from ripe olives. Most come from farms in Spain, Italy, or Greece. But what's really in that bottle on your kitchen counter? Fun fact, olive trees can live for over 1,000 years and still produce olives. Criminal rings making fake oil have thrived since ancient Rome. Some fill up their bottles with cheap soybean or vegetable oil, while others mix in lower-grade olive oil but still label it as extra virgin. Real olive oil has a fruity and grassy smell. If it smells like nothing or it's rancid, there's a chance it's not real. Health risk alert. Fake olive oil can contain trans fats and other unhealthy oils. This is real Wagyu beef. But what's been popping up on menus across the US probably isn't. Wagyu literally means Japanese cow and refers to four main breeds. But is that pricey steak you're about to order actually worth it? Fun fact, authentic Kobe beef is so rare that less than 0.1% of beef consumed in Japan is true Kobe beef. The Japanese government tightly regulates how these cows are raised. Most of the Wagyu cattle in the US have been bred with other hardier breeds. The USDA allows Wagyu cows to have as little as 46.9% Wagyu genetics and still be called Wagyu. Real Wagyu has distinctive marbling with thin, intricate white veins. Kobe beef would rarely be served on the bone, and it doesn't make the best burger because it's too tender to be formed into patties. Health risk alert. Consuming mislabeled beef can expose you to lower quality meat that may not meet safety standards. Even your coffee could be phony. 
you could just be brewing up a bag of inferior beans marketed as some more expensive ones. Or it could be something completely different like ground acorns, barley, or wheat. But how do you know what's in your cup? Fun fact. Coffee is the second most traded commodity in the world, second only to oil. Growing coffee is expensive and labor-intensive. Farmers need to harvest more than 1,500 cherries to make just one pound of coffee beans. Large-scale farms can produce cheaper coffee, picking the whole tree and processing ripe and unripe berries together. To avoid fake coffee, buy from reputable sources. Verify the origin of your coffee and look for certifications like those from the Specialty Coffee Association on the packaging. Health Risk Alert Fake coffee can contain contaminants that may pose health risks. Saffron is the world's most expensive spice, but the market for red gold is widely tainted with cheaper products. Real saffron comes from the three tiny strands of the crocus sativus flower. But why is it so easy to counterfeit? Fun fact. It takes about 75,000 saffron blossoms to produce a single pound of saffron. The stigmas are so fragile that farmers must remove them by hand. It takes over 150,000 flowers to make just one kilo of saffron, which can cost $3,000. Fake saffron often includes hay, horsehair, or coconut filaments. To ensure you're purchasing real saffron, do a water test. Real saffron will slowly release a yellow color and hold its form, while fake saffron will easily disintegrate. Health risk alert. Fake saffron can contain artificial dyes and contaminants. So why is all this counterfeit stuff really that awful? One reason is pure economic fraud. But then there's our health. If your extra virgin olive oil is secretly cut with peanut oil and you're allergic to peanuts, that could be deadly. Authentic brands can't compete with the cheap prices of fakes. Fraudulent products could put real producers out of business. Some criminal groups are so well-structured they operate like companies with multiple departments. They secure suppliers, set up sophisticated factories, and bottle up fraudulent products to look like real ones. They sell counterfeits by knocking on restaurant doors or setting up fake websites. Europol helped break up 40 organized crime rings committing food fraud in 2022. But with massive international supply chains, it's hard to catch all the counterfeits. The USDA inspects imported meat and eggs, but the FDA inspects just 1% to 2% of imported foods. Even if they're caught, the punishment isn't usually as harsh as drug trafficking. Tougher sentencing and the use of blockchain to track the supply chain through labels could deter counterfeiting before it starts. But some of it comes down to the consumer. If we stop buying the really cheap, horrible product, this fraud will become far less of an issue. Always look at the ingredient list, because if you know how to differentiate the real stuff from the fake stuff, the decision of what you put into your body becomes yours. So, we've explored the surprising truths behind some of our favorite foods. Starting with truffles, we uncovered the shocking reality that the truffle oil we often encounter is far from the real deal. Instead of being derived from the rare and expensive truffle mushroom, it's usually a concoction of olive or sunflower oil and a synthetic compound. Finally, we ventured into the world of saffron and discovered that this luxurious spice is not only incredibly expensive, but also widely counterfeited. Real saffron comes from the delicate three tiny strands of the crocus sativus flower, requiring a staggering 150,000 flowers to produce just one kilo, which can cost up to $3,000. However, the market is flooded with fake saffron made from hay, horsehair, or coconut filaments, posing health risks due to potential contaminants and artificial dyes. The food industry is rife with confusing labeling and clever marketing that can mislead us into thinking we're getting something we're not. Remember, the best way to ensure you're getting the real deal is to educate consumers and read labels carefully. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more eye-opening content. Stay healthy, stay safe, and stay informed. And we'll see you in the next video.